Alright, hey there Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox by here, and we're back for some more of the Persona 4 Golden Let's Play. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we just went through our very first attempt on trying to battle out with the Dominating Machine here in Nayato's Dungeon. But, unfortunately, uh, that didn't really work out all that too well, so we have to go on to our second attempt that's going to be happening for today. Now, uh, however, we do actually have some brand new type of personas alongside with us, which we are going to be using within our time of this said battle. Now, mind you, I will actually have to go and do a little bit of some editing here and there within the second attempt of the Dominating Machine, just so that you guys don't have to see everything that literally goes on within here, because there is still other type of other floors that we still have to walk on into with. But while we are going to have to go and battle out with the dominating machine out here, uh, within our way of the two videos, not only are we just going to be doing out here with the course of Persona 4 Golden, but we're also going to actually have to go and do some more of what the Phantom Hourglass Prox Guide is going to be all about. And if you guys have been enjoying so far within the said Prox Guide and you do want to see more, just make sure to go and leave a like and also a comment down below as well, which that can also be uh, greatly appreciated for the support uh, within the way of that said episode. Uh, but for what we actually do have to go and uh, see throughout here of this said battle is that with our new personas uh, We actually do have one main persona which I will be using for a majority of the time and this is known as Samuel uh, I, I think that's what his name is I could be wrong on it Somebody could probably let me know in the comments if that's uh, the wrong name to pronounce it or not uh, But he seems like a pretty interesting guy and for what I have been seeing uh, so far throughout the different Researching of said other different personas is that this one is uh, somewhat of a nice good reliable type a storyline method persona that you can go and use uh, throughout the game and uh, so far I do have to say I actually am in agreement for that because uh, so far throughout what you guys are being seen so far is that uh, Samuel uh, that is uh, being our persona here is actually working really nicely on trying to uh, buff down on everything that this dominating machine is going to be doing and uh, unfortunately uh, just like what I was saying back in the last episode is that this dominating machine does not really have a said weakness so you're going to kind of have to just use physical attacking moves or really anything at this point in time just to go and help you out uh, but however I think we should be able to get ourselves with just a few more hits down and I think we should be able to get ourselves with a nice good win and just like that we got it now uh, now during the time of my off record process I did go and however return back over to that weapon shop and I did sell some other different type of other little goodies and uh, I was able to go and afford on some brand new things uh, within alongside with our characters as well too so that's why now uh, Yusuke uh, within our way actually does have a much better and higher attacking weapon uh, compared to his last type of time that was going on and uh, if you ever are in need of trying to do a little bit more extra gaining alongside within your game uh, there is a settings where you can actually be able to go and uh, change that all up around now I don't know if that's just said like a persona 4 golden type of specific thing or if it's just from like back in the original game on the PS2 um, but if you are in need of like trying to gain more money uh, there is a settings where you can be able to go and do that it is going to be a little bit of a cheap type of way it's kind of like a, a yo jimbo situation Situation where you kind of just have like that insta grab of money and stuff but again uh, it's all up to you if you want to do that or not and however I think I'm just going to leave it as just the way it is just to have all this extra exp and money just so that we don't really have to be broke on, on other different type of situations here. Uh, but however, there are some other different battles that we're going to be crossing on through and there is going to be some said new personas that we can't be able to go and pick up with. As from what you guys can go and see right now, we also do have with uh, Gudon uh, uh, again. Uh, now, I know that uh, we've already originally had Gudon before, but that was how I was able to go and do some uh, brand new uh, leveling ups uh, with the said uh, Sam Samuel, Samuel type of uh, persona there. Alright, so we're almost said and done with these guys here. I believe their weakness is like somewhat of like a win related type of damage so you can go and weaken these guys if you do need to. But Rize will always let you know exactly what type of weakness goes with what type of enemy just so that if you are in a little bit of a pickle uh, you can always go and uh, figure that out there. But just like that we got ourselves another win and of course with our brand new uh, attacking stats that we do have is going to be really nice. And uh, looks like we got ourselves another new persona here. This is uh, with Ganna. So interesting from that. But yeah, like look how much EXP that we're just gaining just from that uh, little extra menu setting that we do have there. 
All right, so here we go. Now we're just going to just go and just uh, quickly move on in through the different levels here. I know that we just went through B5. Now we're all the way over here in B6 now. Uh, we all, all, all that we really have to go and do now at this point is just use that leader card that we went and picked up with back in B4. And uh, now we're just going to be able to, uh, well, basically just put that to the door in B6. And that will lead us all the way to the last final few floors. But I don't know if you guys just wanted to saw right there. But yes, we now do have Oruchi as a set type of persona in our team. And we don't even need to even fusion evolve it at all, like at all for that. So that is very helpful. And mind you, Oruchi is a pretty nice, good, handy dandy uh, persona as well too. And uh, can't wait till we go and use him at some point later on down the road. But here we go. I think we're just getting close to uh, the ending floor here. This is B8. So all that we have to do now is just reach all the way up to B9. And that is going to end off the episode for today. So with all that being said, my guys, thank you so much for watching Persona 4 Golden. And of course, peace.